Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation. Now, today I want to talk to you about my go to strategy for buying low and selling high. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying this goes entirely against everything you ever taught us before, Steve. You usually say never to try and pick tops or bottoms. So, how can you buy low and sell high? Well, in all actuality, there is a way to buy low and sell high without picking tops and bottoms. And that's what's called pullback trading. So let me give you the definition of what a pullback is for many of you traders that aren't familiar with pullbacks. Okay. Now, in an overall uptrend, a pullback is either a large, moderate, or a shallow sell-off. So as we look at this chart here, we see that basically we're in an overall uptrend. In fact, we're making higher highs and higher lows. What you want to do if you're a pullback trader is to buy at these certain low areas. So you see, you're not picking a bottom, where as you say, the stock has bottomed out after it's going straight down. What you're trying to do is stay within the overall trend and pick those small little sell-offs or little downward trends within the overall uptrend. Now this can work the exact same way, but to the opposite side, for example, in an overall downtrend, a pullback is simply either a large, moderate, or shallow rally. So now we look at this chart here, OKTA, an older chart. Obviously, we're in an overall downtrend. We're making lower lows. But what we want to do if we're a pullback trader is sell at these little bounces within the overall downtrend. You see, this is a higher uh, probability for selling at higher places. And then when it continues its downward move, you can have this nice potential profit. Okay, But now that looks all well and good. That looks great but how do we do that? Most traders would say, is there a strategy specifically designed to identify these high probability pullback setups? Well, actually there is, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna to show you how simple it is to apply the process of trading this strategy on our platform. Everything is one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform, the educational platform I designed with ProTrader Strategies that actually identifies these pullback strategy setups. So welcome once again. This is going to be a great educational presentation today. We're going to be talking about my go-to strategy for buying at the lows and selling at the highs, but within an overall trend. Once again, we're going to be talking about pullback trading. Now, there are two types of traders. There are traders who like to buy in an already established trend or sell in an already established trend. That's where the market's going straight up or straight down. You just continue to buy or sell within the trend. And then there's pullback traders where you look for these little bounces or sell-offs. So you have to decide if that meets your needs. Pullback traders will usually be a little bit more disciplined. They're not, you know, uh, trading at the, you know, at the at the whim, at the drop of a hat to buy at the market or sell at the market. What they're usually doing is having a lot more discipline and waiting for these sell-offs or these little bounces to occur. Those are probably some of the advantage of it, where of that style of trading. Whereas you're buying at a lower level and getting a better price. But one of the disadvantages is if you like to trade a lot, if you like action, more like a gambling mentality, you are not going to be satisfied because you have to wait for these high probability setups to occur. I've been trading for 45 years now. When I first started trading on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, I was in and out of trades in a matter of minutes. So I was more of a continuation trader, buying when something was going high and selling it higher or selling and hopefully it was going to go lower. But now, as I've gotten older in my years and more disciplined trader, I'm more of a pullback trader. So that's why I say this is my go-to strategy for trading these uh, pullback setups. And you're going to learn exactly what the process is trading strategy number nine today. Now, before we begin, once again, as always, we're required to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to share with you a lot of performance results by trading strategy number nine but please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, please remember that since we are an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, speaking of education, if you haven't done so already, you can get a lot more free education on a daily basis by simply following us on Twitter. There's our handle right there, abbreviation for specialist trading. Every day I post anywhere from uh, five to seven different uh, examples of signals or uh, techniques that our methodologies have uh, generated. And there's lots of great free education, as well as little bits of financial wisdom uh, with which I po post on a daily basis. So feel, please feel free to follow us on Twitter. And remember, we are first and foremost, an educational 
company. Our goal and our purpose is not to force feed you signals, not to tell you what we think of the market. I mean, I, I can't tell you this past week how many uh, students have emailed me saying, Steve, does this look like a bottom? That's not for us to decide. I have no idea if it's a bottom. I have no idea if the market's going lower or going higher or we're pulling back. We just simply wait for the requirements, the rules and the requirements to be met and let the market tell us. You see, so many so-called educators try to tell you how to trade, to tell you where to buy, to tell you where to sell. You go to a chat room or a trading room or buy this system that spits out the buy and sell signals for you, right? Or you wait for what the guys have to say every day on TV. And if that works so well, once again, why do 85% of all traders fail? It's because obviously it really doesn't work. So in my 45 years of trading, the only thing I have found that works is when traders make their own decisions. So that's why I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies about 13 years ago with a goal of providing traders around the world with information, things that have stood the test of time and have high levels of consistency so that they can make their own trading decisions. We want each and every one of you not to just have a good couple of months or maybe a good year, but to have a good decade, maybe a good couple of decades, because that's really what success is. Not making a ton of money in one month because you can easily give it all back if you don't have the right information or the right uh, guidelines. But what we want to do is have uh, a sense of uh, confidence in you so that you have this longevity. So you can be trading 30, 40 years down the road with that confidence. And the way you get that is by making your own trading decisions. So this is our goal. As a mentor, I don't want to simply trade for you and tell you what to buy or sell on a nightly basis. I want to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge, the same edge that has sustained me now for 45 years, and hopefully it will do the same for you. And you'll see that in today's presentation. I really try to guide you through this and give you all the information to teach you what it's like to uh, be in charge of your own trading destiny. Now, before we begin, once again, this is a class, so please ask me as many questions as you like, but we have a pretty good crowd here today, so I don't want to stop for every question. So once again, please wait till the end of the class to ask me any questions, okay? I promise I'll get to them then. Uh, also, this is being recorded, so if you have to leave early or having technical issues, don't worry. Each and every one of you will be sent a link to this recording where you can watch it at your own leisure whenever you like. And then lastly, please remember, this is a Zoom presentation, but it's a static presentation. We're not interactive or we're sharing the cameras and our microphones. So please remember to disable all cameras and microphones. And this is simply a static educational PowerPoint presentation. All right, with that out of the way, let's begin today's presentation. And we're gonna be talking about pullback. So let me go through the process and just show you the guidelines of what makes a pullback entry. All right. It actually is three different phases. The first phase is one, the beginning of trend. So we want to already see that some type of trend has been established. And this can be a downtrend as well, but we're just sharing with you what it, uh, the upside looks like. So that's phase one. You see a trend in place. Now, phase two is where everyone gets confused. OK, that's where the counter trend starts. Usually this means you have a sell off. Most traders think, well, this is the top. It's topped out. That guy in that chat room told me to sell because it's way overbought. And so it's probably going to go down now and make new lows or it started a strong downtrend and we're going to make a wave five or whatever. And that's where people get confused. Now, for all intents and purposes, it may be the beginning of a downtrend. But if all the requirements and rules are met, it can actually be a pullback. All right. And this is where you want to buy at the lows or near the lows of a pullback sell off. Remember, a pullback in an overall uptrend is just a small sell off or a drop in price before phase three happens. And it's the resumption of trend. So obviously, if you want to wait for that low price, you're waiting to find out that you buy in the pullback. OK, but that's easier said than done, because how do we know if it's pulling back or how do we know if it's going to be going lower? Well, once again, this brings us to the question we first stated. Is there a strategy specifically designed to identify these high probability pullback entries? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. This is strategy number nine. I go to strategy for trading these pullbacks or these lower uh, points of entry or higher points of selling. So let me give you some of the highlights. It's a buy low, sell high, pullback strategy. Remember, we're not trying to buy thinking that the trend has changed or we're not trying to sell thinking that we've topped out. We're actually in sync with the overall trend. Now it's a proprietary indicator 
based method. Now, some of our methods are based entirely off patterns. Others are based off indicators. Some are kind of hybrids. We have a few that are hybrids that use both. This is basically just off using uh, everything off of an indicator or, or a couple of indicators, actually. Now, you can apply it to any market, any time frame, in any direction. We'll focus mainly on stocks today. Here's the best thing about this, in my opinion. You can apply it to option trading. Why? Because it's designed to buy at these sell-offs, let's say, okay? So let's say you're looking at stock XYZ and it starts to sell off. Most traders are thinking that's it. It's going to make a new low here. But it meets all the rules for a strategy number nine buy signal because it's saying it's just a pullback, all right? Because price has sold off, that means the premiums have also sold off if you're going to buy the calls or some type of spread. So this is why it's ideal for option trading. Now, remember, we're not an option course per se. We're not going to tell you which option to buy, which strike price, which uh, time uh, limit to go. That's up to you. As educators, we're just teaching you how to identify and highlight these high probability entry points. If you want to enter through options, if you want to actually buy the stock, however you decide is entirely up to you. Now, please, if you decide to become a student of this course, please learn the strategy and paper trade first. Our edge is consistency, okay? Consistency means that you will have losses from time to time, but a consistent method is one that's able to recoup those losses. That's a two-step forward, one-step back approach. Okay, now let's just go through a couple of the highlights of this. Now, I can't give away the rules because strategy number nine is an extremely simple method, but I can just kind of give you some of the, uh, the basic format behind this because it employs two simple indicators. Now, their relationship to the price automatically produces the signal. So that's how price is generated. I can't, even if I gave you one of the indicator, it'd be easy to uh, reverse generate. And so I, I just don't wanna do that, but just let me tell you, it is a very simple method. Obviously in an overall uptrend, the buy signals will be generated during the decline. It will teach you how to identify an overall uptrend. In an overall downtrend, the sell signals will be generated during a rally or a bounce. So let's go through the trading process and show you how simple it is to apply strategy number nine into your daily trading of stocks and other markets. And here we have that example we were looking at earlier, AMAT. And we were in an overall uptrend. And remember, we wanted to buy at these lower levels. This is where the most opportune place would be to buy. Well, we know that we're in an overall uptrend just by sight and also by how we teach you to identify it in the course. So what you would do now we also teach you how to identify on your own the strategy number nine setups. So we, you know exactly what to look for. No one has to teach you after you've learned everything. And on top of that, you don't have to use a tool to help you identify them. But while you're learning, a way to check your results is simply to click on strategy number nine on our platform. In the drop down menu, click on signal arrows. And you can check to see if you were correct in properly identifying where you thought a strategy number nine buy signal was. And look at all the buy signals here, right at these lows that you could have taken advantage of before the market decided to bounce back up. This is what I mean when I say it's my go-to uh, buy low, sell high strategy. Let's look at this example in OKTA. Once again, we teach you how to identify the overall trend. Obviously, this overall trend is down. And we wanted to sell at these opportune places here, right on these bounces. So. You've learned how to properly identify the overall trend. Now you've learned how to properly identify the setups, the signals. But you just want to check your work because you can't call me up every five minutes and ask me if I did if you did the right thing. So that's why we uh, uh, developed the platform to make it like your own private mentor sitting right there next to you. Once you learn how to properly identify, you simply click on strategy number nine. Once again, in the drop down menu, click on signal arrows to check your work to see if you properly identified a setup. And there they are. And to see how strategy number nine identified these high probability setups right at the highs of these little bounces. See, this is your pullback trader. This is why you want to uh, take this course because it identifies these high probability setups. It's a great strategy, my go-to strategy for selling high. All right, so let's look at some current strategy number nine examples, okay? Now you just went through the process. You see how simple it is. All of these examples, you're gonna be seeing right now, have been taken from snapshots and displayed on the PTS Primo charting platform that properly identifies these pullback strategy setups. Okay, let's look at buys first. 
Here's an example in HON Honeywell. Now, someone just looking at this would say, yeah, okay, we're in a nice little upward move here. And so I'm gonna be a buyer because Steve says to be in sync with the trend. And then look what happens, all right? This is where most traders once again, get confused. They'll say, hey, wait, wait a minute, the uptrend has been broken. So that's uh, all bets are off now. We're most likely in a downtrend. So I wanna be a seller or if I'm long, I wanna get out of my position, okay? This is why most traders fail because they're out of sync with what the market is doing. You see, we've all learned these outdated and conventional you know, uh, methods and techniques that really don't have a high level of consistency. And we're all, don't you always feel like you're one step behind what you're supposed to be doing when you're buying, when the market goes down and you're selling when the market goes up? It's not because you really don't have enough knowledge or because you're not skilled enough or you don't have enough education. It's just mainly that you're out of sync with the market. So that's the first thing we teach you, how to be in sync with the overall trend. And the overall trend, according to strategy number nine, is saying we're not in a downtrend. In fact, the overall trend is still up. And this is simply a pullback within an overall uptrend. Okay, so now that you know that where everyone else is selling, you're saying to yourself, no, this is just a pullback. Now you wanna properly identify a strategy number nine buy setup then. So you look at your uh, rules and you study and you say, you know what, I think I see a buy signal. So click on strategy number nine, click on signal arrows, and you were right. There's a buy signal right here at the very low of that little sell-off. Where everyone was selling, that's where you have a buy signal. And look what happened. You had a, after a couple of days of the stock doing nothing, it actually had a nice little run-up. Now, as you can see, say you bought somewhere right here, okay? For three days, nothing happened, but then three or four days later, you had a very nice profit. But then look what happened. It sold off and you gave away majority of your profit. There's another advantage to having our platform because we auto-generate exit signals. I'm going to tell you later on in the uh, presentation how you could have exited right there near the very high of this little weekly run where you could have made a quick 15 points in just a little over a week, okay? Let's look at this example in DLTR, Dollar Tree. Once again, we're going higher. So it's the beginning of a trend. Let's go through the process. Phase one, we're in the beginning of a trend. Phase two is the pullback. And then phase three is the resumption of trend. This is a textbook example of how pullbacks work, okay? And if you click on strategy number nine, you would have seen that there was a buy signal right at the very low of that pullback stage. And in the next week or two, you could have potentially made 20 points. See how simple this is. Once again, with pullback trading, the advantages are, You'll get in at lower prices if you're buying, or you'll get in at higher prices if you're selling. The disadvantages are that you have to wait. You have to wait for these setups. But if you're the type of trader that doesn't mind, you don't need 100 trades in one week. You maybe need maybe two or three or five. That's fine. Then pullback trading is perfect for you. Another example, CHKP, uh, Checkpoint Software. Right at the low of the sell-off, we have what we call a cluster. This is a cluster setup. Cluster means when there's a number of signals either right next to each other or very close to each other that are generating the same signal. And right here, we have three buy signals in a row. These are high probability setups. They're not guaranteed that they're always gonna work. Sometimes they'll go up for one day and then right back down, but they're high probability setups, especially if you have a good uh, strategy like strategy number nine. And then look what happened. Coming into uh, March, the stock was up 30 points straight up. All right, here's an obviously uh, a downtrend, right? This is where most people would say, Steve, why would I buy this? This is where I should be selling, right? We're in a downtrend. Once again, is this a downtrend? Well, according to strategy number nine, no, it's a pullback. In other words, it is telling you the overall trend is up. This is simply a short sell-off within an overall uptrend. So you should be looking at this as a buying opportunity, not a selling opportunity. And now that you know what, uh, constitutes a strategy number nine buy signal, you actually find one right here near the very lows of that so-called downtrend. And in about four days, you could have potentially made 110 points. Now let's look at the opposite side. Let's look at some selling opportunities, okay? Because we've had a really down market here for the last month. How could we have taken advantage of this? All right, let's look at uh, Starbucks. Once again, someone would say, well, Steve, we're in a nice uptrend. So you always say trade with the trend, so I'm gonna be a buyer, okay? Well, is it an uptrend? 
According to what we teach you in the course, no, this is just a small little bounce or a rally within an overall downtrend. So rather than looking at this as some type of buying opportunity, this is a selling opportunity. All right, so now you start uh, remembering what the rules are and the requirements for strategy number nine. You wanna check your work because you think you see some signals here. Click on signal arrows and you are right. You have another cluster of sell signals, high probability sell signals. Are they guaranteed that this is really gonna fall out of bed? No, but it's a high probability setup when you have more than two in a row, okay? And look what happened. Coming into May, the stock fell 18 points. Here's another example, OKTA, all right? As we see here, looks like it's going higher, but we think we see a strategy number nine sell signal, and there it is, right at the high of that little bounce. So this is just a pullback in an overall downtrend, Coming into the first week of May, last week, the stock was down 55 points. Now, most traders would say, hey, Steve, this is resistance. You know, I took that course where it's all about what the institutions are doing, and they're, they're really applying some major selling pressure here. So I can't go against the big money institutions. After all, they're always right. And uh, I don't really want to do anything until I see a breakout. Now, if it breaks out above that, then I'll be a buyer. Well, look what happened. There's a breakout. So you say to yourself, okay, well, according to that $10,000 course I took, you got to buy this. This is a major breakout. We broke out of resistance and now it's probably going to make new highs. So you decide to buy. That's the way most traders trade based off faulty information. That's why most traders fail. We only listen to one thing as specialist trading. That's the chart in front of us, the market. And with a, a few simple tools and indicators, actually it's telling us that this is not a breakout. This was actually a pullback. So this was a bounce in an overall downtrend. If it's an overall downtrend, we don't care if there's resistance or a buy signal. We're not going to buy. We always buy in sync with the overall trend or sell in sync with the overall trend. So if this is a pullback, this is telling you that this little bounce to the upside, this little rally, this little so-called breakout is simply a pullback. It's a selling opportunity. Now, once again, it's actually a sell signal. Strategy number nine generated a sell signal where everyone else thought it was a pullback, or should say everyone thought it was a breakout. And look what happened. In the next week, 90 points. This was just a couple of weeks ago. As we look at ALGN, once again, kind of a going nowhere market. Most traders say, well, you know, Steve, this is a bullish engulfing pattern. And I took that candlestick course. That's very, very positive. And uh, you like candlesticks. Yes, I do. I have to admit we do. And we even have a candlestick course, but it's an entirely different way of trading candlesticks. It's a non-traditional way. The traditional way would say, hey, this is very positive. You got to buy here. And once again, that $10,000 course you took on support and resistance is telling you, you got to buy here because it's uh, institutions are buying. So you want to be a buyer. You've got two completely different things, candlesticks and support and resistance telling you that this is a buying opportunity, right? Well, check strategy number nine and click on signal arrows. Nope, the overall trend is down and this is a selling opportunity because a strategy number nine signal has been uh, generated. Look what happened. The stock fell 150 points in six days, just a couple of weeks ago. So if you learn how to find out what the overall trend is, and then if you learn the requirements for these high probability setups, you won't go into that percentile, uh, 85 percentile of, of traders who lose money on a consistent basis because you'll be in sync with the market and you'll be having these high probability setups right at your fingertips. Okay, let's review what we learned today. Remember, a pullback is either a large, moderate, or shallow sell-off in an overall uptrend, or it can be a large, moderate, or shallow rally or bounce in an overall downtrend. So when I say this is my go-to strategy for buying low and selling high, I'm buying at lower levels within an overall uptrend. See, I'm not bucking the trend and I'm selling at higher levels within an overall downtrend. I'm not trying to pick a top. 
Strategy number nine is our buy low, sell high pullback method. It's our premier pullback strategy. It applies a proprietary indicator-based method to, to generate the rules, okay? We use two uh, indicators and it's their relation to price that generates the setups. Now, I know I showed mainly stock setups, but you can apply it to any market, any time frame, and any direction. Once again, if you're an option trader, this is ideal for you because you will be buying at these lower levels, which will mean the premiums are much lower. And if the trade does work out, you can get some really low price options uh, you know, at a discount because you know, most uh, option traders, the biggest problem I always hear from option students is that, well, the premiums are so high, it's, I can't afford this. Well, this makes it ideal because you'll be buying at lower levels, selling at higher levels, which will mean that you'll have a uh, decreased price in the premiums. We always require, we don't ask or suggest, we require that all of our students should decide to become a student of mine, paper trade. So we want you to paper trade first because our edge is consistency. We know we will have losses from time to time. That's okay. Uh, what you don't want is a method that continues to lose and then just keeps losing and losing. And I'm sure you've all been there before. I know when I first started trading, I was there. Just every trade just kept getting worse and worse. And I thought, how much longer can I trade this? You know, it's ridiculous. So you don't want a method like that, that maybe has one big home run and then goes into a series of losses. That's more of a gambling type of structure. What you want is a two step forward, one step back approach. Sure, you'll have losses every once in a while, but then you'll be able to recoup those losses uh, on the very next or, or very soon in the next setups, okay? That's what we're looking for. And that's what we mean by consistency. So ask yourself, do you think this pullback strategy, strategy number nine can help your trading in 2022? Look at your own trading right now. How's it going for you? If you're a pullback trader or if you'd like to become a pullback trader, we have a great special offer for you today for all the attendees in today's class. This is our next level pullback trading special. Strategy number nine, along with our platform. You're gonna get detailed video course instruction. Now, if you notice, I didn't really talk about the exact entries, the exits or the stop placement because that's all included in the course. I've often said this, our way of teaching is like a buffet line, okay? If you go to a restaurant, a buffet restaurant, uh, everyone is going to get a different meal. Why? Because you go to the buffet and you have different entrees there. You can pick roast beef, you can pick fish, uh, you can pick uh, something uh, that's uh, maybe a vegan or whatever. And then you're, uh, you can pick a salad, you can pick maybe uh, 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 just uh, another appetizer. And then everyone has a different choice of drinks and a different choice of dessert. Okay. Now at the end of those meals, everyone is satisfied. And you could say, well, how can they be satisfied? They had different meals. Well, because everyone likes different things. Everyone has different tastes. It's the same way with trading. No two traders should ever enter at the same place and should ever be told to exit at the exact same place and should never be told to place your stop placement at the exact same place. We'd be like going to buffet line and saying you have to order the same entree and have to drink the same drink and have the same dessert. That's the way trading is. I've learned this over four decades that everyone's different. As long as you have the same basic ground rules and format, then you can build from there. So that's why we offer up to seven different entries, seven different exits, and seven different stop placements for you to choose from. And this is all included in the entire course. You're going to get that along with the course rules. Now, if you have a platform that you trade, that you enter uh, and exit your trades off of, like a trade station, uh, Metastock, um, uh, Thinkorswim, or NinjaTrader, uh, we can give you the add-ons for those so that the signals will be generated right there, okay? So this is a great, great offer. But remember, everything you saw today was on our platform. So we're going to throw in an extra bonus with that because all the displays, all the simplicity of checking where the buy and sell set setups were, were all done by using the PTS Primo charting platform. We developed it this way to make it simple for you. So here's the extra bonus. We're going to throw in a full year free. If you decide to become a member of the strategy number nine course, we'll throw in a full year free of the platform, okay? You're gonna save over $1,700 just alone by getting our platform. Now, with the platform, you're not gonna just get strategy number nine and that's it. And you say to yourself, wow, that's all I get. There's nothing else I have on here. No, you're gonna get a host of different things that I've accumulated in my 45 years of trading. Many of the things are just from the stock exchange floor that you won't find on any other platform. Things like our enhanced buy sell line, okay? Four different ways to find out the buy or sell uh, bias of the market. 
are a signal scanner, a really simple way to scan for setups on a nightly basis, a strength of trend tool, a tool I developed with ProTrader Strategies to tell you if there's any more momentum left in the markets, okay? Uh, we also have over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators along with personalized tech support. But here's what I think is one of the best things. And what I told you I talk about is our auto-generated exit levels. This is just one of the exit methods that we teach in the course but it's auto-generated on the platform. And let me show you what I mean here. As we look at this uh, example in Honeywell that we showed you earlier, remember a buy signal was generated here. Well, we said that you could have easily exited here with an auto-generated signal. So what you would do is click on strategy number nine and in the drop-down menu, click on exit levels and you would see them automatically be generated. Now this is three exit levels that were generated. If you wanted to exit, for a really quick in and out, you could have exited here. If you wanted a more moderate profit right here and a more uh, you know, uh, generous profit right here. So look what happened. We went right up to that third level and that's where things started to head the opposite way. So this is the beauty of this. This is always auto-generated on our platform. You can choose to use this exit if you like, this exit method, or we have six others to choose from. Remember, no one should trade the same as someone else. You can choose for yourself how you want to exit. Here's another example in ADSK, Autodesk. A sell signal, strategy number nine, sell signal was generated. Let's say you like the auto-generated setup. So you click on strategy number nine in the drop-down menu, click on exit levels, and Let's say you wanted to exit at these lower levels. Well, right here, there was a strategy number uh, nine exit level. There was actually four of them all together. You could have exited here, taken your profit 22 points in roughly about a week. That's not a bad little trade, right? And look what happened after that. You would have given all your profit away in the next week. So that's why these are extremely valuable. They're a great way to decide where you want to exit. And remember, you can choose anyone you'd like, any one of these exit levels, it's up to you. But we always advise students to get out at the fourth and final one, because that's usually where the trend changes. This is all included in your package on the platform, along with a host of just other things that I've accumulated in my 45 years. Trust me when I say a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of the strategy number nine course. Here's the great offer we have for you today. Here's our next level pullback trading special. You're gonna get all of this included and we normally would charge you over $4,700, but here's a great discount today. We're only gonna be charging you $29.95, okay? $29.95. You're gonna save over $1,700. That's a $3,500 discount. Now we also have payment plans because we know not everyone can come up with $29.95. So, you can contact Pro Trader Strategies. I'll give you the info in just a second. And you can put down a small deposit and still be a member of the strategy number nine course, okay? So you don't have to come up with $29.95 if you don't want to. And you'll still get that deal of a full free year of the platform. Just because you establish a payment plan doesn't mean uh, you will not get that. So that's the best thing about this offer, okay? Remember, that comes with a full year of the PTS Primo charting platform. Here's how to take advantage of this. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're in charge of all the discounts, all the pricing and all the tech support. They can help you set everything up should you decide to become a student and they will uh, help you set up the uh, add-ons onto your computer. They'll set up the platform for you and you can usually do this. Uh, I, I would venture to say, if you decide to come on board right now, you could probably have everything done this afternoon. So, I mean, I don't want to uh, uh, guarantee that, but that's how, how good our tech support is. It probably would be no later than uh, tomorrow, but that's how good it is. And remember, you do not have to come up with the full $29.95 if you don't want to. A lot of people would say, that's fine. I don't want to have a payment. I would rather just pay for it in full. But if you uh, can't come up with $29.95, you can still be a member of the course at this great special rate and you can establish a payment plan. You can call Pro Trader Strategies at 310-598-6677. Now that link you see at the very bottom right down here is the link that will take you to the info and the sign up page. So if you'd like to uh, just give some more information, you can go there. Now that link is not live. You'd have to copy and paste that onto your browser, but we've just posted a live link on the chat box. So if you go to your chat box, open that up, you'll see at the very bottom there's a live link that you can just click that on and it will take you there automatically, okay? All right, we have still some time left. If you have any questions, I see someone's already asking uh, something, but if you have any questions, 
please feel free to type them in now into your chat box and I'll answer them. I see someone says, I'm sorry, I joined late. Can you please send the recording? Yes. Well, everyone will be sent a recording to this uh, presentation. So we know that some people come in late. We know that some people have to exit early. That's okay. So if you signed up for this, uh, we have your information and we will uh, email you the uh, link to this recording. You can watch it whenever you'd like. Uh, the one thing I would uh, really recommend is that if you're at all interested, I've said this before, just don't sit on this because uh, uh, some people get this false sense of security when they say, well, I have the recording, I can watch it whenever I want. And they decide to continue trading their current method. And two weeks later, they've lost so much more money than they wanted to. And they say, gosh, I wonder if that deal is still going on at the Pro Trader Strategies. I should have just taken that weeks ago and I could have saved a lot of money. Well, uh, that's the thing. It may not still be here. It may be back to the original $49.95 price. So I would, if you're at all interested, I would probably make a decision by week's end because uh, this deal will probably end. And then next week we start another one with another course. So by all means, uh, watch this video over the next couple of days. But if you're really, really sincerely interested in this, uh, I would suggest contacting ProTrader Strategies. They can answer any questions you have and uh, work out a great payment plan. Uh, someone was asking, uh, you didn't show any other markets like futures or currency pairs. Does it work only with stocks? No, actually, that's that's my fault. Because most of our member base uh, are, are stock traders. Uh, many times I will just focus on that. But you know what? Uh, I will next time uh, we give a presentation, I will show a lot more of different markets because it, it does. I, I trade this with E-minis. And when there's a good setup for this uh, uh, for a pullback, you can trade this with five minute charts, 10 minute charts and E-mini futures. We have many students uh, in Europe who trade this with currency pairs because most of our students who trade uh, Forex are in Europe and they trade it with uh, currency pairs. So, yes, you can apply it to any market any time frame, okay? And also, as I stated earlier, if you're an option trader, this is ideal for option timing because uh, you'll be getting in at lower prices or higher prices if you like to buy puts. So good questions. And once again, I apologize for not including other markets that much. Uh, any more questions? Okay, if there are no more questions, once again, there's absolutely no obligation. I, I know a lot of people are a little frightened or reticent to call uh, you know, uh, companies at times because they feel they're going to be trying to get sold. Don't worry. A, a pro trader strategy is very flexible. They're there to help you. They have trading consultants manning the phones. They'd be happy to answer any question. There's no obligation necessary at all. You can think about it, and it's your decision to make. And there's, we don't want to force anyone into a sale. So just you know, think about it. The only thing I would just say is, just don't think about it that long if you're really in, uh, interested because you know they're making it easy. They're establishing a payment plan. So for a small deposit, you can still be up and running, okay? So contact Pro Trader Strategies, 310-598-6677. They're very flexible. They'd be happy to work with you. As we close, I just wanna say thank you once again. I hope you learned something about pullback trading today. And as you take one last look at our disclaimer, remember this is a great strategy. It's my go-to strategy for buying low and selling high. If that's the type of trader you are, if you like that style of trading, then this is a great offer to take advantage of, okay? Thank you so much for attending. I wish you the best of luck in trading and hope to see you in the strategy number nine course. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.